Hi and welcome to my channel Galactic Bacon and my video today is going to be about the Elite Dangerous Detailed Surface Scanner. Uh, this video is part 3 of an exploration guide for beginners and part 1 of this series of videos I explained about the basics of the Discovery Scanner and in part 2 I talked about how to use the full Spectrum Scanner. So I'd encourage you to watch these videos in my beginners playlist if you haven't done so uh, already. In part 4 um, I hope to take a look at the best ship builds for exploration in the game as well if you're if you're starting out along that career path. Uh, so we're going to dive straight in and I have my game open in front of me. Um, first thing you will need to do is uh, make sure that you have a detailed surface scanner if you are not sure uh, where to find one. Um, I would encourage you to use a tool called EDDB. I have it in front of me. And what you need to do is, uh, it's uh, the address is eddb.io. Click on stations under station cells modules uh, type in detailed surface scanner and then under reference system you type in the system that you're currently in and then do a search and it will give you a list of all the stations in the nearby vicinity that have detailed surface scanners okay so it's very simple, very useful tool. Um, it's an absolute must if you are taking this game seriously. Um, okay, uh, so back in the game, uh, to buy a detailed surface scanner, just go to Outfitting. Uh, the detailed surface scanner is fitted under Optional Internals. I'm currently in a sidewinder because I started this new account uh, just to kind of help new players with the game who are starting out who are also flying in a sidewinder so that you can do the same type of things that I'm showing you here in these tutorial videos so you can do all of this in a sidewinder you don't need an expensive ship to do basic uh, exploration um, so Detailed surface scanner fits in a size 1 slot, uh, class 1. If you browse the shop and you'll see it actually has uh, its own category, which is surface scanners. And there it is there. Okay. Just make sure you're leaving yourself enough money for any mishaps or accidents if you're buying a new module. That just is part of the course in this game. Um, the next thing to check are your fire groups before we go ahead and do this. Um, so I happen to have my discovery scanner and my detailed surface scanner in the same group. You can do it however way you want to. Just make sure you have the DSS allocated to either a button on your mouse or your joystick, or if you're on PlayStation 4, uh, you, you'll have to look up the, the button presses for that. Okay, I'm gonna launch. Okay, one other thing we're going to have to check is our key bindings for this. Um, so if you go to controls, scroll down and under detail surface scanner, it's the very last option. And just check you have... Um, Uh, 
everything selected that you're going to need. Okay. Also, in order to use this, you need to be in a Super Cruise. So I'm just going to select a planetary object to target. Let's see, we'll take the one nearest to us. And we're going to super cruise. Okay, you need to be in analysis mode for this to work also. And you need to be within range of the planet as well. I think there was an object actually nearer than nearer than this one, but hey ho. Okay, I'm going to slow down because I think we're now in range. You, Once you're in range, you press the button to activate the surface scanner and you will see the scanner uh, looks something like this and you'll have a, a little line uh, which has a, a little dash in the middle and as you rotate around the planet it will rotate with you. Um, now what we're trying to do here, we're trying to launch probes which will go around the planet and uh, it, it's telling us at the bottom right that we have an efficiency target of six probes. If you meet that efficiency target and you scan the whole planet um, within that target range you will get a bonus when you hand in the data um, so that's what we are trying to do um, now if we go too far and we miss if it says miss that we need to bring the joystick back in. What we're going to do is we're going to aim for the back of this planet to begin with. So I'm going to launch a probe. And that should fly around the object and then scan the rear side of the planet. It will give us some data. Now, if you notice, the bottom left, it's telling us how much has been mapped. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go the other side. And I'm going to go just as far as it misses and then bring it in a little. I'm going to hit fire another probe on the other side. And this should be enough to cover the whole rear part of the planet that we can't see. Okay, so we're now at forty-five percent. I'm now going to I'm going to scan the top, and we want those little dashes just in the middle. Um, I'm going to fire a probe. That should land at the pole. Okay, 
we're going to do the same at the southern pole of the planet. So that's four probes of lunch now. Okay, so target is six. So it is possible to do it with six. Okay, so if we have our little dashes in the middle, I'm going to go to the right hand side, but I'm going to bring it in a little bit. So I'm sort of just aiming for the edge of the planet. And if I the probe, now this planet is relatively small, so it only takes six probes on larger bodies like gas giants. You're probably going to have to use a lot more probes to cover the surface. Uh, so this is just a simple example with a small plant. Actually, that one covered the whole lot. So we did it in five. So we met the efficiency target, which means we should get that extra uh, data. If I then, I think it's the backspace to get out of this mode. Yep. So we can now see that that planet has been, uh, it's indicated that it has been completely covered by the surface scanner. If we go to system map, look at target planet. If we zoom in, I can't remember if this actually tells you if it gives you extra info or not. Don't think so. It just logs the fact that you've sort of scanned that actual body. Okay, so you can use this for all types of objects, for moons, planets, gas giants. As I said, uh, the larger the body is, the more probes you will have to use. Um, it does take a little bit of getting used to, you will have to play about with it uh, a little bit in order to cover all the surfaces. Um, the more you, you use it, the more you practice, the quicker you'll get at using this. So that's the, the detailed uh, surface scanner. Okay, I thought it would be helpful if I showed you what it was like to um, use the scanner on a ringed planet. Um, so I have one in front of me at the moment. It's a little bit different from scanning a planet that doesn't have any rings because the, the ring is obviously an obstruction, but it's also an object you can scan as well. Um, I find the easiest way to do this is to view the planet at an angle, probably about between 30, 45 degrees um, up from the plane. It gives you a good view of the planet. It also means that and the planet isn't obscured by the rings uh, as well. Um, they are a bit trickier than regular planets. They will take a lot more probes. Um, it, it's actually more difficult to hit your efficiency target uh, with these. Um, I sometimes make it, other times I, I use a few more than I should do. Um, but I'll, I'll just take you through scanning one of these type of planets eh, as well and it will give you a feel for what you would need to do. Okay, um, I'm going to start my scanner. Okay, I'm going to scan the left first of all and then I'll Send a probe to the right hand side. Okay. Um, I'm going to send one round the. It's quite difficult to send one round the other side of the planet because of the rings, because they get in the way. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the poles first.
both poles, the ringgits in the way there. And then we'll just see how much we cover. Um, by the way, if you fire one at the ring, it will scan the ring for you. And there you go. Okay, I'm going to fire one just above the center and see what we've got left. You'll notice the hot spots uh, on the ring uh, will be able to indicate where there are materials that you can mine. Um, and that is all helpful data. Right. So we've got 21 probes as our target. I'm going to go for the bottom left, far one down that way, and the other side. As you see, this takes a little bit of practice and a bit of trial and error as well. Okay, let's see if we can completely cover up this side. I'll aim for a bit, a bit there. One down this way. Right, we've used ten out of twenty one so far. We're still leaving little bits not covered. Try and get the pole. Get that bit down the bottom. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move around the other side of the planet and get a better view of the bits that we've missed. I'm going to slow down, turn around, see what we can see. Okay, we have a bit there. I'll try and get this side. Okay.
Okay, I'm going to fly around again and try and get a better view of the bits we've missed. Fly to this side. We will probably have to go to the underside to check that bit as well, if there's anything that we've missed. Okay, I'm going to slow down and turn around. Right. I think we're over our efficiency target. I did tell you this was tricky. Right, we'll get that patch there. We'll get this patch here. Okay, we're at 71%. So I'm going to fly to the underside of the planet. And we'll get a different view. Try and go straight up and then look down. Okay, there's quite a bit that we've missed. <laughs> Didn't do such a good job. Right, let's get these little patches. Tiny little patch there. Seem to have missed, I think. Ah oh well, that's us. Yeah, that's it done. Hope this video has been helpful to you today. Um, if you would like to be notified about future videos, please subscribe, click the bell icon below. Also, check out the description below for other videos. Feel free to leave a question in the comments if there's anything you don't understand about what we've talked about today. Uh, thank you for watching. Fly safe. I'll see you next time.